Um, India. You were big on India. Well, actually, I have some other things to report. <clears throat> I, was in, I was invited to uh, Women's World Banking, um, which is an organization that started in 1975. There were a number of visionary women that said, maybe we should get together and make sure that some of the bottom billion get a chance at starting businesses. And uh, let's make sure that some microfinance outfits and banks and people that are available to lend money to poorer people get going. So this was started, uh, really didn't get going to about 1979, but it's now about 50 organizations and they were having their global meeting in New York. And I finished this book now on microcredit in India. The president of Women's World Bank who said she'd do a preface. So uh, I had wanted to go to I thought Jeffrey Sachs was doing your preface. Well, Maybe it's Jeffrey Sachs. Jeffrey Sachs might do the introduction, and then my, my, the microcredit woman uh, w would write oh. something as well. By the time you finish, that's going to be longer than your text. Well, meanwhile, nobody has responded, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> take who you get. <laughs> but in any case, uh, possibly there'll be two people, and possibly nobody, or maybe one. So you're not going to work with these things. But in any case, so I went to New York to this meeting, and I must say it was very inspirational. But as you know, I don't know anything really much about all the things that everybody's talking about. I don't know a whole lot about it. But what I was impressed was that here were something like 200 people, uh, a lot of them from third world countries. These are women and some men that um, have knowledge. And <clears throat> their idea is to make sure that there is money available to uh, mostly women who want to start businesses that pay their loans and, and start a business that's viable as well. And uh, it was, uh, you know, given the mess that capitalism seems to have made out of things, uh, here are some people using their expertise in order to, to help, you know, a big hunk of the world. Uh, not everybody that was there was third world. There were Europeans and Americans that are also uh, trying to help out. And what a little story. I was sitting next to this woman that looked rather meek, shall we say. Uh, but we all had uh, something hanging around our necks to say who we were. And mine just said, writer. And hers said, uh, chairman of the board of Women's Real Banking. So I asked her, well, uh, what did you do before you were here? Oh, she said, I was at the International Monetary Fund. She sort of said airily. And then I said, what did you do before that? Oh, well, I ran a bank in Norway. Well, that's the kind of person that is getting together. And it, I think it's very interesting that it's dominated by women, because I think women care about community. And uh, so that was, that was actually one day in New York, and they were having a four-day meeting. And the last day of the meeting, they were going to be meeting big financial institutions that were going to be giving them possibilities <coughs> of how to get uh, you know, money that they're going to need for loans, and sometimes grants also so that there's literacy training. Uh, one of the highlights of the meeting was a, uh, a speech that was given by the former financial uh, minister, minister of Finance in Mexico, who has uh, since then started a, a big investment outfit. And he was asked to talk about the American situation as seen from the tropics. So he, you know, he gave his view. And then at the end of it, he said to Mary Ellen Iskandari and the president of Women's World Banking, listen, now's the time to jump off to Washington trying to get some money. Because this is good aid money. It's first of all, uh, it, it, it provides yields and uh, the women t pay their loans pretty well, 99%, and they actually start viable businesses. That, and he said, I'll help you do your proposal if you like. Now, she's somebody that doesn't really need too much help. She used to work at the World Bank, and she's also worked at a big investment firm. So, you know, these are savvy people that are in there trying to make a difference uh, for other people, and not necessarily to just aggrandize themselves. So that was that was my little talk Terrific. in New York. Well, you, you're a very exciting lady, and why you often hide out of the key, I'm going to stop. Pardon? <laughs>